starting with you, Aries. So greetings, Aries. Welcome to your horoscope. What we got going on this week? Well, Mars is still in Gemini. Sun's still in Gemini. Um, <clears throat> we're actually, Sun's in Vedic Gemini. This new moon is in Vedic Gemini. So we're really putting out more Buddha consciousness, you know, which is consciousness. You know, it's non-judgment, openness to learning. This is where we're, this is where we're at. This is where we're, we're headed. So we're looking at the weekend moons in Taurus. Um, for you, it's a good weekend to make money. You know, maybe you, you're an Aries working a festival or something. You can make some money. It's a good time for singing, music, cooking, culinary, dealing with all your family's friends, your ex's relatives, all of that too. We could throw that in for the second house. Um, you know, take care of your neck, your throat. Don't yell too much at the ball game or at the concert. That's that's basically it. You don't have to. You don't have to worry too much about um, <clears throat> what's going on. This new moon, it's going to propel you to um, appreciate your your environment more, appreciate your parents more. It's kind of on that cusp between the third and fourth house. So we're, we're starting to learn to get ready to find out what makes us grounded and emotionally happy. And, um, you know, you, you have strong desires in relationship. Who doesn't? Saturn going back in your eighth house. It's like you may get something good or bad that you don't really deserve. <laughs> you know, um, inheritance, you know, that, that comes to mind sometimes with Saturn in the eighth. It's also kind of like the ego gets a little depressed when Saturn's visiting the eighth house. It's like, oh my gosh, why did this happen? <laughs> 